All right, so we're on to exercises 2A now. Um, and in this exercise, the first thing I think I ask you to do is to uh, have a look at or to copy out this uh, routine here. Um, and the reason I've asked you to copy it out is because the more you copy stuff out, the more you make things, uh, the quicker you will get at it. Uh, so this is just kind of a practice in terms of building things. Um, and what we've got is something very similar to the step sequencer that we made uh, for exercises 1A. Um, we, if I start at the bottom, we've got um, a note out which sends us sends to the internal MIDI synth. And this time we're sending to channel 1, which uh, um, uh, is not the MIDI percussion channel. So we're not going to get MIDI percussion sounds. And in fact, it's going to route to program 1 which is the piano sound. I'll talk about program out, out, outputs in, uh, or program changes in, uh, in another tutorial. Uh, but we have um, uh, a make note going to there and I've discussed what make note does. So in this instance we've got a make note with a velocity of 127 and each note will be 200 milliseconds long. Um, and uh, What's happening there, you might wonder what the two outlets are for, and again I'll probably go through this again another time, um, but we have, uh, if you remember from a previous tutorial, I've said that make note makes a note uh, which gives max MSP, or at least give, sends the uh, MIDI synth um, what are essentially note on messages and note off messages, um, and the note on messages are the note number, so the number that's coming in here, along with a velocity of something above zero, so it'll be something 1 to 127. Um, and it needs that in order to tell it to start the note. And for a note off, it will always send the note number again with a velocity of zero, uh, which essentially is telling it to play uh, a note at no volume at all, and therefore essentially switches it off. So that's what we've got here, and make note sends out the note number out of its left outlet, and it sends a velocity value out of the right hand outlet. And so the velocity value, anything above zero will be a note on value, and anything, well, and a, and a velocity of zero would be an off. Um, so in this instance, it would send the note on message, message of, in this case, say 79, with a velocity of 127 and then 200 milliseconds later it will send the note 79 again with a velocity of zero. Again I'm always labouring points but uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then up here if I just take the whole of this uh, because it should be familiar we've got a metro object sending out regular pulses at 200 milliseconds so in fact the note that the, the, uh, the pulses are sent out at the same rate as the length of the note so 200 milliseconds in both. Um, and then the counter will count from 1 to 8 uh, and then that refers to in this case well we can think of the counts as being beats so count of beats 1 to 8 um, <clears throat> and in, in the select object it will send through uh, each of those 8 numbers to 8 different outputs which each in turn play a different uh, MIDI note or at least send a different number which will be interpreted as a MIDI note when it reaches the uh, external MIDI synth. Um, so what does that sound like? Um, it sounds like that. So it's counting through each number in turn. Okay. Now we've looked at the random object before, um, and if you remember, if I wanted to uh, choose a... Um, if I wanted things to happen in a random order, I need to make a random object. And that random object needs to have a number in it, which is the total number of random numbers that you want random to make. Um, it doesn't. You can't put a range in like you can with a counter object. You have to put in the maximum number of um, numbers that you want it to generate. So in this case I want 8. But if you remember, if I were to send that directly to the select object, I would only get um, values of 0 to 7 because um, the, the random object counts 0 as a number and it's, it will, it will uh, make 8 random numbers which include the number 0. I've talked about that I think in exercises 1b so if you, you're confused about that go back to there. Um, so in this instance what I need is a plus 1 object 
in order to uh, provide an offset and thereby produce the numbers, uh, random numbers between 1 and 8. Now, <clears throat> um, okay, so I'll, I'll remove the uh, connection to counter so that I can demonstrate this. Oops, hello. Uh, demonstrate the random works. So now it's generating random numbers between 1 and 8, um, and I'm just playing through that sequence randomly. And we could put in a drunk object to, to go through that sequence in a, dr a drunk walk if we wanted to. Um, but what happens if we wanted to be able to choose between those two states, so either between counter, so it counts through this, each one in turn, or to a random one which runs through it randomly. I'm um, just going to check the time. Okay, six minutes so far. Um, well, obviously, if I connect both at the same time, I'm going to get both those sequences at the same time. So we'll probably get some kind of, uh, uh, well, we'll get two voices at the same time. Which I suppose is quite pretty. But not perhaps what I had in mind. What I had in mind was to be able to choose between them, not have them running at the same time. So we need an object that will allow us to do that. Um, and it so happens that I've got one over here um, and what you need to do is to find that in the palette uh, you have a choice of these um, well graphic switches um, and these are types of, of gates or, or switches um, it's another routing object we've got routing objects here select object is a routing object um, it decides where uh, messages will be sent to based on certain criteria that you specify um, and a gate does exactly the same too. You specify an output and it will send stuff to that output. Um, so I'm going to remove both of these uh, lines, which I did, if you remember, by pressing Alt and then dragging a loop to, to, to cover those two lines. Um, and that enables me to do that. So I delete them. And, uh, and I, well, I shan't bother using this one, but I will make a new uh, graphic switch. And this has two outlets, um, and you can see you can see by the graphic exactly what it's doing. Um, I can choose uh, to have the signal go down here from the inlet, from the main inlet, and out of the left hand. Or if I click that one, it goes from this inlet to the right hand outlet. Um, so you can toggle between those two just by clicking on the object itself. Uh, so I shall connect this one to the counter object and this one to the random object and then uh, I need to connect the, the metro object to the inlet from which the signal can be routed so it, it's got to be the right hand one um, because the left hand one is one that, that is um, as you can see from the, the message it says it's the control inlet so 0 sends the message to the left and 1 sends it to the right uh, so instead of having to, to, to click on, on the object itself you could click on the, uh, the the toggle object to do that. My phone is ringing, you'll just have to bear with me while I go and answer it. Um, yeah, so this can be actually, this can be uh, controlled using a toggle uh, object if you want. Uh, so if I make a toggle, you can connect that to here. Um, and then a one turns the, the gate uh, sorry, the switch to the right hand side and zero sends it to the left hand side. Um, and this is actually um, one of a number of, of gating or switching objects. Um, you can also, as you would have seen from the palette, choose this one, where instead of having two options as your outlets, you have two options as your inlets um, and toggle, whoops, sorry, toggle between the two, like that. Um, and there's also. Um, uh, well, again, we've seen this this gate object. I'll just get rid of this because this is confusing now. Uh, so there's this one. There's also the gate object, which you can also you can have a number of outlets for uh, by just by adding some arguments or well, a argument an argument. So we could say um, for, um, <coughs> and that allows us to choose between a number of different outlets. Um, and similarly, we can make a switch which allows us to choose, oops, sorry, from various different inlets. 